So if you've chosen to pursue a degree in computer science, whether it's a passion for tech, an appreciation of the fat salaries that software engineers can make, or you've just wandered into the major at your university, it has probably crossed your mind whether or not you should get a PhD like those professors that teach you so well, or not so well, depending on where you go. And in an initial Google search, the overwhelming answer seems to be no, no, no. Some people question whether or not you should even be getting a bachelor's, which is a worthy conversation, and I have videos about that on my channel, but to Today we're going to be talking specifically about graduate school, so that's going to be your master's degree and your PhDs, and I think that while the overwhelming response online is no, there's a valid reason for that, and the, the fact that so many people just instantly shut it down might be detrimental to the few kids who the answer should really be yes to. So I'm going to talk about that niche situation in this video, but my name is Alex Bianchi. If you guys would please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I got a bunch of videos coming out soon about my previous internship, about my internship hunt for next summer, and about scheduling my classes in the fall as a computer science transfer student. All those videos coming. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the video. So I'm going to start off by agreeing with most of the internet that most people should not get a PhD. If you're not really interested in doing research, don't get one. If you don't want to teach, don't get one. If you just want to be a software engineer, don't get one. If you're really unsure, don't get one. If you're just doing it because your parents told you to, don't get one. If you just want to be a doctor, don't get one. If you just want to master a particular part of computer science, don't get one. If you just want to make a bunch of money, don't get one. If you want to run a startup, don't get one. And of those, the one that might stand out the most is that if you want to master a topic, you shouldn't get one. And in that situation, you're probably better off becoming a software engineer in that field and pursuing it in industry, getting paid to learn or pursuing a graduate degree and getting your master's and then not worrying about all the grueling research that PhD students are subject to. And while that might seem to eliminate all computer science students, I can guarantee you that it does not. And some of the people that should be considering these PhDs are people who really want to do research, really want to contribute to the bleeding edge of computer science as a field. The people who want to be trained how to think in a scientific way and go on to do research in industry. Yes, it's possible to get into industry research roles or adjacent roles without a PhD, but the fact of the matter is that if you want to go to Google's DeepMind or Facebook's artificial intelligence team, you're going to need a PhD. Now, if you just want to be a data scientist and apply some machine learning principles and do your data cleaning and, and rock your shit, then you do you. Go do that. You don't need a PhD for that. Maybe you need a master's, maybe not even. But if you particularly want to do research, you're probably gonna need a PhD. And why would anyone want to do research? You work more hours for less money, and I think the answer to that is it's, so, it's such a personal thing, the desire to make unique contributions to a given field that if it really calls out to you, and you, for some sick reason, get excited when you hear about the long hours that graduate students spend grinding on a particular a topic or algorithm or reading tons and tons of papers, if all of that, like I said, for some sick reason excites you, then you should probably consider getting your PhD. And I think a great way to test this out is to pursue undergraduate research, with if you want, which if you want to go to a top university, you're going to have to do anyways. Sure, it might cost you an internship one summer or fall, but in the end of the day, research assistant on a resume looks pretty good. And if you have other internships, it's all gonna be about even in the wash. Now, I do think there's a pretty major asterisk here, and that is, should you get your PhD if you wanna pursue research? You should consider it. Can you get into a top program? The answer is yes, and you have the opportunity to go to Stanford, uh, Carnegie Mellon, uh, who else has taught, MIT, Georgia Tech, uh, UT Austin, even Rutgers, my university is 12th ranked in artificial intelligence, top 25 in terms of computer science in general. If you can get to one of those top institutions, that is a very unique opportunity to be at the bleeding edge of a very fresh field. Computer science has not been around that long compared to math or physics or English. Computer science really has a lot of room for innovation left. And if you can see yourself getting those straight A's in your undergrad, getting that research experience, getting maybe your name on a paper somewhere so that when you're applying to grad schools, you are associated with professors, 
if that opportunity is open to you, then I think it it's really, really worth considering taking it. And some people are going to be in that position. They could go do top research, but they'd rather just go work for Google or Facebook or Amazon or Apple. And that's, that's awesome. They should go do that. But at the same time, they would be amiss if they didn't just, con just consider for a moment, do you want to make unique contributions to this field in a scientific research oriented manner? Not to say you can't make contributions in industry as a software engineer, of course you can, but it's something worth considering. So this video might be short, but I really just wanted to send the message that although the overwhelming majority of the internet might be giving advice to the overwhelming majority of people that know they should not get a PhD because they will be just fine and perfectly happy as a software engineer, making a bunch of money, not you know spending long, long underpaid hours getting a PhD to only not necessarily get into a industry research or academia position, that yes, that's completely valid and those posts have a lot of merit to them. It's still worth going out there and doing other research, but to those one, 2% of people who like the idea of research, like the idea of getting into their PhD, can get into a top PhD program. So I'm probably talking to maybe a thousand people right now, like total, who can actually get into these top 25 programs. They only take, what, maybe 10, 20 people each. So I'm talking to a fraction of people right now. But if just one person sees this and says, you know what? I'm going to get that undergraduate research position. And that's all I need. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'm, I'm a little, a little rusty. Haven't made a YouTube video in a while. I've been, I've been, I've had a software engineering internship this summer, but yeah, that's going to be it for me. Peace.